feel like it's given a very much rich beach. That's the I <laughs> I don't know how y'all watch me because I'm actually in a way. Yeah. Yeah. What's up y'all, it's your girl Tamiki Kiara and you're tuning into a new video here on my channel so yay for you, thank you so so much for tuning in today I look crazy right now, so story time I went to go get my hair done and it was like a huge storm in New York, right? So as I'm getting my hair done, the power goes out She like couldn't straighten my hair or anything but I'm rushing right now because I have a photo shoot and like, and I gotta leave my house in like an hour and a half. And I have to now do my hair because I couldn't get it done. And because power now, how she gonna curl my hair with no curl and iron? Like, what's that about? I also just got a bunch of clothes that I ordered from Pretty Little Thing in the mail. So I think I'm gonna change. So I don't really love my outfit right now. And I gotta like drive all the way to the city and all this. I'm like, I want to feel cute. All right, so I changed. I'm way more comfy now. Now I can like do my hair and stuff. These sweatpants that I have on are so soft. Oh my God, I'm about to do my hair right now. I'm starting off with just hot combing it so that the top part could be super straight. And then I think I'm gonna pin curl it until, while I do my makeup, I'm gonna leave it in pin curls and then take it out right before the shoot so i honestly want the curls to really frame my face that even when my hair is pinned up it still is like flattering to my face i don't know let's see this hair is so long hold on <laughs> this is <laughs> who literally made me i just feel like i don't i'd be doing shit that makes no sense but like I'm standing on my tippy 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 Like I'm on point right now, literally. For all my dancers, you know what I mean? But this is how long it is. It's like 28 inches, I think. I don't know. You know, sometimes we gotta go a little crazy, you feel me? But I'm about to curl this. You think the curling iron is hot? I have no patience. I think that's the areas in me. Like three seconds go by, I'm like, is it ready? Shut up. If I'm meant to be a hairstylist, God, just say that. Somehow, I like curled my hair in like 15 minutes. Usually it takes me longer and I thought it was gonna take me longer cause it's so much hair. But listen, God was with me, but I can't even see cause I'm like hella blind low key. And I need to order new contacts. Hi guys, not because yeah. So this is how my hair came out, just to give you guys like a better full body view. But I need to hurry up and get my makeup done. So I'm gonna come back looking a lot cuter. Give me a second. I look crazy with the pink curls. But guys, um, I finished doing my makeup. As you could tell, my lips look weird because I didn't put in like any lip gloss or anything yet because I'm actually about to eat before I head out. So I have like 35 minutes and i pretty much have everything i need to like put to the side i just need to put it in a bag so that i don't forget anything so i'm about to do that right now clean up my bathroom and then eat something and then head out of here but i'm pretty much ready i just like let me put this thingy majiggy on my head because the thing is it's raining so i'm gonna leave my pin curls in until i get there because i don't want my hair to get messed up in the in-between, I look like somebody's grandma. Let me go to my little checklist so I can make sure I'm not forgetting nothing. I know, I miss this Samia. I gotta get back to it. No, I have a list for everything. What? And in my reminders, I have like sections of like, reminders to do this stuff, reminders to do this stuff. Like it's actually sick. We're going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Now is it worth it? Came up with a hustle and we all made a killing. 
came on my straight with you, now it's been a me. Come on, hop for the children, tell the God just a minute. Got my dog in the street. Bathroom's clean for the most part. I just had to wipe down the counter part. I should vacuum. Cause there's like a little bit of hair on the floor for me doing my hair earlier but i'm gonna do it when i get back because i'm really in a rush so i really don't have time. my ocd does not like that i really want to clean up after but i need to prioritize in time you know have a little bit of time management so i'm gonna turn the speaker off eat something for dinner but let me go ahead and eat something and then i'm gonna see y'all i am in the car about to head out i made sure i like triple check that i had everything because i'd be so sad when i forget stuff but i'm on my way over to the shoot like i said it's gonna take me like an hour to get over there so i'm about to just put on a good playlist what should i listen to guys i was just listening to my little baby gunna dirk um Hoscotti playlist but i think i'm gonna change it to my artist rodway future playlist Cause I'm about to be in a car for like 45 minutes Probably more like an hour Cause this thing is like in Times Square I don't know what time Hi everyone Your hair looks good Thank you girl I did it today How you doing TT? I'm good how are you? You know are you excited for your birthday? It's mad close. Oh your hair looks so nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have the highlight fiends. Hi. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know, melting, you know. Your Thank you. So nice. I love that she brought up the bed. So that's what I'm going to do. Update the vlog. Okay, first look is done. I don't even think I really should you back. Let me see where I can set this up. This is the outfit. I feel like it's kind of backlit, but y'all get the point. I'll put like some of the pictures on the sides so you guys can see and now we're getting ready for the second look which is going to be in here it's going to be like a tub look that's why you hear dreamy but this is the outfit why don't I just take to come to the bathroom a duh what am I just saying oh yeah that's mine Hi, so I'm gonna try to get B-roll for this shoot. I gotta take this dress off. Right now I have on the dress with sweatpants. But um I gotta get a little Nikki. A little Nikki, so hold on, hold on. I don't want you guys to see me Nikki. Alright, so for now I put my sweatsuit back on because like I said I'm about to get Nikki, but she's taking pictures of another client while I get ready for this tub shoot tub scene tub situation so from my hair i'm doing this like cute kind of like updo like i just have like a big banana clip in it and i'm just doing it like this like you know that like at home chill vibe but you still look good you know what i'm saying and then i got my chanel earrings in with the pearls so then i got these other pearls for my neck because it's gonna I don't I'm not gonna wear a shirt in this one. It's a little risky. I bought pearls so that they can be like you know draped down my chest because my Chanel earrings have pearls in. Let me see if I can finesse this because I like the side part better. It's more to me. What do y'all think? I don't know. I feel like I like the side part. You see it? And I feel like it makes my highlights look a little different. What do we think? And then I'm gonna have all the pearls coming down my chest. I feel like it's giving a very much rich bitch. Cause that's the I, <laughs> I don't know how y'all watch me because I'm actually annoying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will look for like 99 minutes for just like 99 people like how we kiss bro. Like, damn, look at I was over there, bro. Yo, I'll be singing the most random shit. Ow, I hit my fucking beans. Alright, 
Alright Trace, I'll let you know when I get home. Okay. Alright, bye. Speak to you later. Huh? I said, please text me because I'm going to be in the movie, but I want to know. Alright, so I'll text you before I call. I'll probably just text you that I got home instead of calling. Okay. Okay. Right, love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. The shoot was super successful. Like, I really love how the pics came out. Like, I cannot wait to see them. Like, I saw them on the camera, but I can't wait to get, like, the raws back so that I can see how they're gonna look and pick which ones I want to do for the edits but I'm so happy like I was almost a little bit nervous going into today just because I haven't you know shot any content like in a long time like I really was taking a break even the pic the little bit of pictures that I have posted on Instagram like while I was taking a break from YouTube were pictures that I was taking myself on my camera like I haven't done professional content in a minute unless it was like stuff for like um like agencies and stuff like I did like a, uh, I had to take pictures for a casting call like a little while ago so I remember doing that or like to make new comp cards if you're like if you're into modeling then you know what I'm talking about it's like the pictures you send out to agencies or whatever excuse me so I had to do that like um in August but I haven't taken like content that like I was got to be a part of the, like the creativity of in a long time and it came out really good and I'm super happy and that dress fit perfect I was also scared of that because I bought an extra small because I wanted it to fit like really tight but I was scared because I usually wear a small but it worked so now I'm on my way home and I'm about to drink my insure because I'm feeling a little hungry and I don't feel like stopping for food because I know that my mama made lasagna so what the hell am I stopping for food for but this should hold me over but when I get home, I'm going to give you guys, like, a quick little life update. Let's see what we finished. Oh, what song was I singing in the bathroom? I was singing 4 Minute Convo. Yeah, I'm going to listen to that because I don't know why that song is stuck in my head, but it is. Time, but I'm really grinding. If, if I, I ever said I love you, never mind it. House arrest in Florida, they, they always checked up on me. So when I was in the studio, I said I was in Publix. If you go walk in my shoes, you go walk on water. 10K on one fit, fly like I deep. You know how I'm coming, it ain't tricking. If you got it, you can use my budget. And I promise I won't finish it till you start coming. You can use my love. And I'm gonna pray it's better by tomorrow. Same old thing, I'm gonna I've been feeling homesick. For so long. I don't make no, I don't make it no better. I get my heart to weather. I just got home finally. It is hold on, let me show you guys. It is 11 36 p.m. I still got a shower and then there's some things I gotta do on my computer. I think D might have uploaded the raws. So I got to check to see. So, that, But let me give you guys a little life update because it's been so long since I've been in front of the camera and really talked to you guys and really, you know, been in tune with my subscribers. I took a long break for a lot of reasons. So I just wanted to like talk to you guys about it. So I'm actually going to talk about first, like kind of like why I took a break from YouTube. So for those of you who have been subscribed to me for a little while, because I know I got a good amount of subscribers like while i was on my break which thank you guys so much for like continuing to interact with my content and watch and subscribe and like and for the people who were subscribed before that thank you so much for staying with the kid it really means the world to me because i put a lot of work into this youtube channel like i mean between getting the content and filming all the time and then all you know the money you spend on the equipment and then editing and then posting it and trying to keep up with the content here and on Instagram and all this other stuff like you know sometimes it gets overwhelming then you get hit up by brands and you gotta like post certain content and stuff like that so 
when you're still like coming up in the influencer game i guess you could say it's a lot to juggle only because i also still you know have other things to do like you know my regular responsibilities work all that other stuff on top of doing this full time so it can be a lot which is part of the reason why i took a break so let's just rewind real quick so basically i took my break i would say starting in may may was when i took my break so 2021 overall has been a crazy year for me like when i say crazy i mean like my whole life literally did a 180 this year and i changed a lot of things i changed the people i keep around me i changed you know my career i changed a lot of things this year so we're gonna take it back to let's say march so in march i went to puerto rico and i had an amazing time like if you watch the vlog you'll see i had so much fun but around that time i was noticing that i just wasn't happy like i just stopped feeling like myself i've never been this vulnerable with you guys but i stopped feeling like myself i stopped you know like i'm usually a happy positive like you know i'm a glass half full kind of girl nine times out of ten but i found myself not feeling like that or like trying so hard to get myself to act that way like when i'm with you guys in front of the camera or when you know when i'm around my loved ones but then it would be like in moments when i was alone i would realize that i really wasn't happy with like you know life so i had to make a lot of changes and i had to pin down you know what wasn't making me happy and just remove it from my life um also another big change that i went through in 2021 was i became single for the first time in a long time i had been in a long-term relationship for like six years and it was a lot i learned a lot it was a good learning experience i learned a lot about myself i learned a lot about what i want and what i don't want in a partner and you know like it was it was it was good when it was good and then i realized that you know i just it just i it didn't feel like me anymore so i left but it was like crazy for me to like no one was expecting it i wasn't expecting it i remember when i told my family they were like what but then you know they understood what i was saying where i was coming from but i just i feel happier now that i've taken a break um this summer i was really stressed i had a lot of things stressing me out I was going through a lot, you know, mentally, physically. You know, you just have those moments where you're just like in a rut. Like you just, you don't have the motivation anymore. And I knew that something wasn't right because that is so unlike to me. Anyone who knows me knows I'm always like, I'm like the friend that's always motivating you. How are you doing? How's your day? What's going on? Like, you know, that's me. So I do that for myself even more so. But I just, I don't know. I got lost somewhere along the way. I guess that's what your 20s are for, but maybe no. Because I said, we won't take a break and we're going to figure this out. So I set new goals for myself. Let me say that. I set new goals for myself. I changed my career. I actually ended up taking the fall semester off from school, which was another crazy thing that my mother was like, you want to do what? And I was like, babes, I need a break. You know, it's my senior year. I ain't in a rush to graduate, to be honest. And, um... I don't have the motivation. If I go back to school, I have so much stress and so many other things on my plate that I'm not gonna, I don't know, like I don't, I, I need a break. So I took a break, took a break from school, took a break from YouTube. And I can say now that I've gotten um, a full-time job in the industry that I, you know, I've always wanted to work in, in the fashion industry. So yay me with not even graduating yet, making a salary, hello and um i'm working my way to accomplish some other goals that i have for myself being single has been interesting like i've really been focused on myself y'all don't even understand and just isolating myself like i i talk to probably like besides my family i talk to like two people every day <laughs> like because it's like no maybe three because it's like no like i just really needed to take the time to focus on myself. So if you're experiencing something like that, like isolate yourself, focus on yourself, focus on like, find what is making you feel that way. What's making you feel lazy? What's making you feel down? What's, what is going on? Cause that's what I had to do. I had to be like to me, what is going on with you? And I realized, and I was like, okay, like when I, let me give you guys a story now. 
and this is super personal i have never been this personal on social media before but i feel like for me to get to where i want to get and make you guys feel comfortable enough to me to want to continue to know rock with me. i don't want you guys to feel like you guys are my family or my friends or whatever so because this is our little family like our little 700 gang like you know what i'm saying we like this in here but basically to give an example of how much your girl was going through it this summer um it was like july and i was so like stressed with like a ton of things and it wasn't like my breakup or anything like that like i was stressed with other things that i had on my plate at the time and i like wasn't thinking about eating i don't know how to explain it i don't know if you guys have whatever but me and food did not have a good relationship which is weird because i love to eat but i'm always eating a snack some 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 but i, I just wasn't eating like i didn't want to eat i just wouldn't get hungry like i don't even know how to explain it so like time would go by and i would realize like damn i haven't eaten all day so on one day this summer it was like 90 degrees in new york and me and my friend went to brunch and i'm sitting at the table and i'm talking to her and mind you, I like we went to a really late brunch. Like we was like low key the last people they took for brunch because brunch was ending. And I had been up since early that morning, like running around, doing things, you know, trying to take care of my responsibilities. And I was so like out of it that while I was talking to my best friend, she said my eyes just closed. And like I just she thought I was joking because the fun the thing is, I'm like mad goofy. Like I do stuff like that. Like I would be like, Tracy, I'm fainting and then like so and i've never fainted before so basically i closed my eyes and she said i just like slowly went to the ground i don't remember only thing i remember is like i was sitting on the floor and it was an outdoor restaurant which is so embarrassing but i was sitting on the floor i looked at her and all i remember was seeing my best friend's face and i remember saying like tracy i don't know what's going on and then i conked out again and then i woke up and i was like like i was like Tracy, like, I, then I looked at, and I saw where I was. I realized I wasn't sitting in a chair, and I said, Tracy, am I okay? Like, where, like, I don't know what's going on. Fell out again. Got up. Now, again, and I'm sitting in a chair, and I'm like, Tracy, I really don't know what's going on. Like, am I passing out? Like, what's happening? And she's like, you just passed out. Like, you're okay, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't even walk. Like, when I stood up, I would still fall, whatever. So, then I had to go to the ambulance. I was rushed to the hospital. It was a whole thing and i kind of just kept it to myself i didn't tell anybody i i didn't even tell my siblings the only person who knew were my parents because i was scared i didn't even tell my parents for a while like i made it all the way to the hospital before i called my dad and told him where i was and i even was so like scared embarrassed that i didn't even tell my dad like to come like to come i said don't come like don't come please don't come i'm gonna be okay like i'm fine da, da, da. the nurse is taking care of me like i'm fine yeah and he hooked up to an iv or whatever and i was like i'm okay like i don't wanna i don't want you guys to see me like this because i was crying like and i'm not a cry like i'm the most like it's really bad but i'm usually like I'm a very emotional person, but I really keep my emotions to myself. Like, I'm not the one to cry in front of nobody. I'm not going to sit here and boo. Like, I just don't have time for all that extra shit. But I was crying that day. <laughs> and I was, that's when it really hit me, like, how much, you know, like, everything that I was experiencing was, was getting to me. Like, how unhappy I guess I was because I really wasn't focused on myself which is also super unlike me because normal to me i work out every day i like pay attention to what i eat like i eat like i eat like mad fruits and da, 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 da. like i drink i make sure i drink a certain amount of water every day like i'm usually super on top of myself and my health and like you know my mental like i pray every day i manifest every day i talk to god a whole lot like i always try to make sure you know i'm at 100 percent so i could give whatever i got going on 100 percent but I don't know what happened to me this year so i had to take the time to regroup so that's basically why i took a break from youtube <laughs> i had to regroup and that story is just like for me that was an eye-opening moment i feel like that was god telling me like girl i'm gonna scare you a little bit because you gotta your shit together and he did and i did <laughs> and um i made a lot of life changes i took a break from school um i was living 
in an apartment with my best friend in the city in Manhattan and I decided to move home for a little bit um just you know get all my eggs in the right basket because I've actually been wanting to move out of state for like the past year I don't know if you guys noticed but I vlogged some of the places I went like when I went to Atlanta I low-key went because I was looking at places um just to like you know see if I really like it and like strategize and that because I've lived in New York my whole life I went to college in New York I did the New York thing. New York's not going anywhere. My family lives in New York. So I want to take a few years of my life to live somewhere else, to do something else, to experience something new. Plus with my job I have, you know, like traveling is an easy thing. So that's that. So I moved home so I could save up my money. Um, I got some other goals of mine in the work, but I'm feeling so much better now. I feel like I found myself. I know what I want out of life. For right now at least um and i feel happier i have new goals and i really want to lock in on youtube again i used to be so good at being consistent with you guys and posting two times a week here and like three times a week on instagram and i was always talking to y'all in my dms because one thing about y'all y'all love my dms of what but i love that you guys feel comfortable enough to hit me up and funny enough i went to miami like two months ago and i'm in the club and this girl comes up to me and she's like she's like you look so familiar and i'm like really like maybe i just have a familiar face and she's like you do youtube and i'm like yeah and like i didn't have usually people will do that if they see me with my camera because they just assume like oh you do youtube that's what's up but uh she's like no i'm subscribed to you look like it was my first time ever experiencing that and i was just like what and like not to say that i'm not appreciative for all 700 of y'all but for me to only have 700 subscribers, I was like, are the odds? But, <laughs> but I don't want to ramble on. I just wanted you guys to know what's going on. So thanks to look out for your girl. I'm redoing this room because I changed rooms in my house. Now I live um, in a different part of my house because I used to, my bedroom used to be a little bit too close to my parents' bedroom. Like, oh no, no. Now we on a different floor. And I got my own little front door situation so I could, you know, come in and out. Ain't nobody got to bother me. I ain't got to bother them. I'm saying me and Saint, she's upstairs right now, but my puppy, we live down here. Okay. But I um, love you guys so, so much, and I will talk to you guys later. But before I go, I'm going to put all the pictures on the screen. Then y'all going to see my outro. Then I'll talk to you guys later. So, yeah. Pictures coming in three, two, one. <laughs> With the shoulder, I've been on a road, I've been taking toll. I just wanna roam, I've been running from them bad days, trying to take it slower.